together point today at Rochdale. How do you assess our performance? Yeah, I think a performance of real character and resilience. Um, we were really up against it today again. Um, we had to make two changes from the team on Tuesday. Um, and I think the, uh, the the effort and energy that the lads put into it, into to that game, you know, reflected in, in certain moments of our game today. Um, I felt in the first half we didn't play um, as well as we can, but we scored a fantastic goal um, and we're fairly solid at the back, and um, you know, scored a really good goal. You go into half time, you you one nil up, and um, you want to take the ascendancy and, and the, have a better performance in the second half, but. Um, you know, I think um, the, the, with the new manager coming into here and the players lacked a bit of, um, of energy. I think that we had a lot of tired legs out there in the, in the last um, moments of the, of the um, second half and um, they gave everything, the players. I must praise them for their resilience and their character um, and the substitutes that came on also. Um, you know, it was a poor goal to concede, um, but with the injuries to another player, a, a defender, uh, and then Nick, obviously, he was also struggling, um, but then got sent off. Uh, we went down to 10 men again. I, I think the resilience of the character is one thing we can take away from this game as well as a point. Certainly not been made easy for us in terms of injuries at the back, is it? Toby going off. Have you got any update on him at the moment? Yeah, no, he, he'll be checked and um, get some screening um, testing on his um, on his knee and then let's see how it, how, it, how it looks. He doesn't look great at this moment in time, but um, you know the medical team will look at him in a bit more detail. Obviously, a very well-worked goal and a great strike from Pauli. How did you sort of view the goal? Yeah, of course. It was something we spoke about before the game in terms of um, transition and how, how good we can be in those moments. And um, it was a really good move, um, really unselfish play, and uh, it was a really good finish by, by Pauli. And um, it's good to see a midfield player arriving in the box and, um, and, and looking to score goals. So, yeah, we were pleased with the goal. And, um, but, you know, I think there were certain aspects uh, of our game today um, that, that quite wasn't quite there to, in, in, if I'm honest um, but the, 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 the players showed tremendous character and resilience um, to keep putting their body on the line down to 10 men injuries sustained to different players uh, and to push through and get a point and um, we must uh, praise them for their efforts Were you slightly frustrated though not to get more shots on goal? Yeah, of course. I mean, of course we was. And um, there was moments when we, we got into the final third with really good mom momentum and it was the last pass that was too short or intercepted. And um, yeah, that's definitely something that um, we would have liked to improve in the, in the second half. But, you know, when you when you go down to 10 men and, and obviously the ascendancy of the crowd, when they just equalised, it was, it was difficult. But, um, you know, we've got lots of players coming back soon, we hope, and um, it improves the level of the group. And um, we can only look forward uh, and be positive uh, by taking a point today. And Corey Adar with a fantastic performance in goal wasn't it? Yep he's a really good goalkeeper um, we knew that and that's why we, we brought him in and um, he's done well um, he should be really proud of himself we're, we're happy to have him here he needs to keep working at his game it's his first full season in, in league football um, and you know he's taken it to it well he needs to keep working hard at his game there's lots more to improve like every player that we have um, but you know he's doing well and it's shown the belief and faith that we've got in him um, you know to, to take the, the, the shirt at the moment and uh, let long may that continue it's an, we've got another game on Tuesday it's, it's coming thick and fast and um, you know we, we need to put a team, on, a team out on Tuesday and um, you know, there's the certain restrictions in terms of rules with the competition that you need to put a certain number of players in, in the in the in the eleven. So, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll put a team out to, that will try to compete with Portsmouth, um, and you know, it's um, then when our focus will will we'll come to to Salford. Gaffer, thank you very much. Corey, a point today at Rochdale. How do you assess the performance? Um, obviously, first half going one nil up, and then coming in at the break at one nil up when the half time is um, is big, and you want to try and keep that. So I think f for us, we're disappointed that we come out and we didn't come out. The block's firing in the second half. It's disappointing, but obviously a point away at, away from home is a really good result. Coming to places like this, Rochdale, a similar position as us, fighting for their lives down there. So I know it's uh, still early in the season, but you do want to get points on the board early, as, as quick as possible. So you're not in these relegation scraps and, and stuff like that. So I, f I think it's a really good point. Obviously for you it's difficult with all the injuries we're having in defence. We, we can't really ever field the same defence and again it's really sad to see Toby going off, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on with Toby at the moment now. Um, speaking to, I think he's speaking to the fitters at the moment. So hopefully it's not too serious and then he can be back playing as soon as possible. Obviously with all the injuries it's, um, it's part of football. Like, it happens. It can happen to anyone. And obviously at the moment it's just happening in the same positions for us, which is unfortunate. But it's something that we have to deal with as a side as a, and, and as a team. Everyone's going to be behind each other and if people are playing out of position or whatnot, um, they'll give it their best shot and they'll work hard for the team. So 
Yeah. And it was a fantastic performance by yourself, certainly keeping us in the game at stages. Did you have a pick of the bunch out your saves? There were many, weren't there? Um, probably the one at the end. Um, probably enjoyed that one the best at the end because that really that does get us the point. That wins us one point in there. So they're the, they're the saves you dream of making as a kid, like them, them match winning saves, them point winning saves. So yeah, that was probably my best, uh, my favourite one out of the bunch. Would you agree now that it's a positive point to take towards Salford in the league next Saturday? Is it, is it positive? Um, of course, every point is positive, and uh, you want to just look to just get as, as I said earlier, want to get as look to put as many points on the board as possible in the early stages. So obviously, we do take a point away from here, and listen, this, this um, we've scored, so that's another that, that, that is another um, positive. But also, you want to look at clean sheets, and obviously, I think clean sheets are, are, are vital at this, at this point of the season. Getting the clean sheets in and uh, and winning the game like that, even if you win one 0 I would prefer that as a goalkeeper to win one 0 then win four three. I feel like it's a more comfortable game. You've you've denied them denied them opportunities. So I think that yeah. But going into next week, I think obviously everyone's looking forward to it. I want it to play and uh, do well and do it for the, do it for the club really. And as a goalkeeper, obviously clean sheets are very important as you mentioned. But also the amount of goals we're conceding. We're not conceding many, are we? No, we're not conceding many goals. But um, so yeah, it's good. Like that's. That, that's the aim of that's the aim of the game for us at the back at the back five and, and, and myself and also the midfield that come and drop down and help. Uh, it starts from the front to be fair. So obviously the strikers and the boys up top, they're the ones that set the press. They're the ones that that set the tone, especially in the first half today, as you can see, where we really got after the ball and obviously like getting after the ball and that prevents that like, anything happening in behind. So if you work as a team, obviously clean sheets. Obviously people look at the goalkeepers and defenders, but clean sheet is a team thing. Everyone puts in the shift and and that's what and that's what gets them. Corey, well played today, thank you.